Bam, back with another vlog. So I finally uh, got the uh, custom intercooler piping back and um, we had to do some minor adjustments, uh, especially to the sensor here. It was uh, plugged in wrong or welded on the wrong direction and uh, it wouldn't plug in, but we got it all back and I just got to get it re-powder coated and the powder coating that they chose was didn't match at all but anyways we got it back and it's going to uh hopefully work and we can start up the vehicle i'll just uh, show you guys i got the other side uh, already mounted in and uh i'll see you uh, i'll show you the fitment there you go so sensors plugged back in both valves in the right position now and of course I went with the uh, vibrant clamps uh, the reason why I went with those is so that when I do take the manifold off it's much easier just to unplug the coupling here and get to the spark plugs uh, just something I thought about um, if I want to use the couplings all the time here the silicone ones uh, when you take them on and off, on and off, eventually they're going to wear and uh, might leak. So that's why I decided to go with the vibrant clamps here. So the fitment is actually pretty good. It's uh, no more rubbing anymore here on the uh, body. And uh, they lined up pretty good. I'll put the link uh, to the fabricator for all the guys that are in Edmonton here. Um, Felix is pretty, uh, pretty decent, very uh, knowledgeable guy and pretty helpful and I guess uh, got me out of a bind because we were kind of in a pinch and uh, I kind of wanted to get the car started and everything so he got all the pipes back to me quite, it was a pretty quick turnaround. Uh, so I'm going to button that up and um, hopefully uh, she starts. So before I start the vehicle, I'm just going to go over what I uh, did and where we're at so far so that you guys are up to speed. And uh, I kind of want to talk about the throttle bodies too, because I know as you guys noticed the throttle bodies and you're probably wondering why and this and that. So uh, let's go talk about it. What can I say you guys? These throttle bodies are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the attention to detail is just phenomenal. Uh, if you can notice inside there, the butterfly flap even says alpha on it. Uh, but they're kind of a headache you guys um, so the uh, butterfly flap itself doesn't come assembled uh, I know they have an instruction video how to install or swap out the internals from the factory to the larger throttle body but the only thing they didn't say is the butterfly flap is already installed in the uh, video but when they send it to you, it's not. And uh, when I went to install it all, it's pretty straightforward. It's actually an easy install, but the only problem was they didn't tell you where, where the, what side of the shaft the butterfly flap sits in, and you have to have it the right direction because it won't close or it will just stay open. And I found out the hard way. And the other thing they don't tell you in the instruction video is you need Loctite. On the two screws, so hopefully it focuses in there, in there, there. You will need Loctite, red Loctite. Um, this one. Because the last thing you need is those screws coming loose and going into your engine. So when you go through the video it doesn't tell you that kind of stuff it goes just straight in uh switching over the internals it doesn't talk about the flap or anything but their online instruction is actually a little better and it tells you about loctite and the butterfly flap so you might have to jump back and forth back and forth um, the only reason why i went with larger throttle bodies one uh if you're going over 800 horsepower um, it has been told that the factory ones are or can be a restriction. Two, it's just for aesthetics and they do look pretty sick. So I did do a, or oh, I attempted a time-lapse video 
uh, of me swapping the internals out of the factory throttle bodies to the new ones. But unfortunately, I made a big mistake. On a time lapse, you have to have the camera stationary, and I didn't, and it was just so shaky and everything. And it just, I don't recommend watching because you probably will get sick. Uh, you probably get motion sickness, so I scrapped that. So unfortunately, sorry guys, no install videos for that one. Yeah. All right. So moving on to the next part uh, from last week's install, I ran into a problem where I didn't have a 12 point uh, socket and stupid AMS uses different, uh, I guess, sizes. One's metric and one's imperial. And uh, I'm gonna show you right now. So on the top, they use a 10 mils uh, 12 point. So you gotta go find one of these. And then on the bottom, so stupid, they went with a 5 16 And the problem is a lot of times you can't, I don't know, this is stupid. So 5 16 and a 10 mil up top, 12 point. So make sure you get these or else you won't be able to torque them down. Every time I install these uh, pipes, they keep on uh, touching these factory, I guess for the um, air box. And I'm really contemplating on cutting this off like right here, but I've just been, uh, I don't know, just because they keep on touching. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna cut it off. Yeah, I think I will. All right, so we ran into a snag. The O-rings that are supplied with the vibrant clamps is the green ones. And we damaged one of them fabricating the uh, pipe here. So we went and bought another O-ring thinking that it should work. And uh, the collar won't clear the uh, black O-ring. All right, guys, so as you can see in the video, um, something so simple like slipping that collar on for the vibrant clamp in theory, it's supposed to be like really, really easy. Um, but unfortunately, one of the green O-rings that come with the uh, vibrant clamps uh, was damaged. Um, I guess when you install like the, let's say a blow-up valve or the collar, uh, don't twist it. If you twist it, it will bind. And then sometimes you don't realize it and then you clip it in. It actually cuts the... Um, the o-ring and that's what happened with the uh, blow -up valve so we had to get one of those replaced and uh, with the v-band or with the vibrant clamp we ended up replacing the green one with one of these because we couldn't source one out and they look very very identical right same girth and everything but I tried for almost two hours and just no go you guys and in town here you cannot get a replacement o-ring uh, it was a special order and it won't arrive the earliest the soonest one was thursday and we need to get this car started and apparently if you went back to a vibrant clamp dealer uh, it's four to six weeks that, that is crazy you know, being a authorized dealer, you think you would carry the O-rings as a spare. And another thing I was told by Felix, the uh, fabricator, the little pin that holds the, um, the locking pin that holds the vibrant clamp together, apparently don't, don't lose those because those are really hard to replace and they don't carry those in stock either. 
So if you lose them, you be screwed. Uh, just like I am right now. But luckily, I did call Felix and then I told him the situation, seeing if he has any spares. And luckily, he did have a spare. And saved my ass today again. So let's move on and uh, I'll show you what I did next. As you can see, now I got the um, uh, AN fittings all on the blow valve. So this is all piped in now and it's looking sweet. Uh, for all you guys are wondering what size, this is a dash four. The factory line is a dash three, but I didn't go that small. Uh, it's really hard to get the AN fittings and uh, hoses in that size. So go with the dash four. And I'll put a picture in one of the corners here of all the sizes and part numbers for these AN fittings uh, for you guys to get. And uh, for these ones, AMS only supplies a dash four and I believe two of the dash threes. You'll need to get yourself a dash three plug for that side and two more for this side. Um, or sh you'll be, I guess, shit out of luck again like I am. So go and get these ones. Uh, dash three and a dash four. And that's uh, how you get the job done. So guys, like I said before, you can get the kit or the fitting kits from AMS, but it's super expensive and if you try sourcing it out yourself, it's hard to come by because um, you gotta have the right thread pitch and the right size of the fitting and everything. So go with AN fittings, you guys. They, they look better. It's a little more work to get them done, but they do look better. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do up the other side and uh, we'll be right back, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the original bolt here that holds the banjo uh, fitting. I'm gonna take that and we're gonna replace it with this one here. But we're gonna use the the old two uh, copper fittings here. So next you're gonna take two of these and they will go right here and then leading into here. But uh, it depends on your setup. Uh, you might have to get a different angle. I just went with a believe uh, 45. Uh, I figured that would look the best on mine. And uh, you're gonna roughly screw them in like this and mock up your line before you cut. So I'm gonna run my line like that. And then it's gonna curve into here. I think that's gonna look nice there. Done. Now I got the fittings in. Everything's all buttoned up. And uh, looks pretty good, except the power coating here. But uh, yeah, you guys are gonna wonder if I'm gonna ever uh, powder coat this, eh? Probably sticks out like a sore thumb right now, but uh, work in progress, you guys. Looking decent. And then the brackets I didn't install yet. Uh, I'm gonna get them sent out again because they're powder coated in the same color as this one so once that again comes back i'm gonna throw the covers back on all right guys so hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh, vlog uh the last couple of weeks was quite a struggle for me you guys it wasn't as easy as anticipated but uh yeah we got through uh now i'm gonna go ahead and start up the vehicle and i have to clear the codes for the evap um my tuner says that uh, you can clear it with the access port, uh, but they do come back, it's not a problem. Um, but if you wanna permanently clear them, uh, he will have to clear them for me on the, uh, the laptop. So uh, hopefully we'll do that in the near future, uh, but the EVAP won't have any driving effects or anything like that. And then the throttle bodies, I did some research. Uh, it's some mix, um, reviews and answers some say you don't some say you do uh hopefully i start up mine and have no issues all right guys so uh by the, oh by the way happy father's day to all you guys all you brothers that are uh 
fathers and uh, or go enjoy Father's Day with your dads. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here a little early now uh, and go enjoy some family time with my kids and my dad. So uh, thanks for the support on the channel, you guys. And uh, if you guys haven't, please do smash that subscribe button, you guys, and turn on the notification and share this content with your friends and family. Uh, channel is growing and I'm grateful. And uh, see you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya. Bye.